to straighten it out. He had to let them know that if there's no resurrection, then Christ is not risen. But I want you to know that Christ is risen. If there's no resurrection, then I'm a liar and a false witness. And I want you to know I persecuted the church. I didn't believe in Jesus. Anybody that believed in him, I was putting them in jail. I was having them arrested. I was man stone Stephen. But one day, I met him for myself. I was on my road to the masses. I got a man. I was on my way to get letters that had the Christians put in jail. I thought that they were blaspheming God because I thought that only Yahweh was God. I didn't believe that he had a son. But one day, I met him. A bright light shone. Jesus, whom you persecute. It's hard for you to kick against the bricks. In other words, Paul, you can't fight what I'm doing. Uh, it's hard for you to fight against the bricks. He said, what will you have me to do? He told him to go to Damascus on a street called Straight. It's time for somebody to get on Straight Street. You've been down Crooked Boulevard. You've been down Crumbling Alley. You've been down He went and paid it. And when he paid it, he came back. He said, Mary, 
go back to Jerusalem and tell my boys, tell Peter and them. You know, he had to call Peter, because after Peter messed up, he thought it was all over. How many of y'all in here had messed up? And I'm here to declare it's not all over. You may have messed up, but he's a God of a second chance. He's a God of a third and a fourth chance. He went on around and finally they told Thomas and Thomas said, I don't believe it because I saw how he got whipped and beat. I was there when he was crucified. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They said, we saw him, Thomas. He rose from the dead. He got up. Thomas said, I don't believe it. Thomas said, I'll sit until I see a nail print in his hand and the spirit print in his side. I won't believe. Oh, God. One day when they were all in there, it was the 11 now, because Judas had hung himself after he betrayed him. Jesus said, behold, it is I. He said, Thomas, reach forth your hand. Touch my hand and put forth your finger in my side. He said, Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Thomas, Jesus said, Thomas, you believe because you have seen me. But blessed are those happy of those, fortunate of those who believe and have not seen. Any folk in here believe but haven't seen yet? Where the believers at? Any believers in the house? Some writer say, yes, I'm a believer. Jesus told him, then they were out there fishing. And when they came down, Peter looked. He was fishing with the boys. And they looked. Some, somebody was cooking fish on the side. And it was Jesus. Jesus talked to him and said, Peter, do you love me? He said, you know I love you, Lord. He said, feed my lambs. Peter, do you love me? He said, Lord, Lord, I know you know I love you. He said, feed my sheep. He began to show himself openly that he had rose from the dead. Then the story goes on. That at over four, over uh, many appearances, for up to 40 days, Jesus made his appearance to me that he had rose from the dead. And so now the apostles are witnesses of his resurrection. The whole gospel message is based on the resurrection. And so because he has, is raised, hallelujah, because he is raised from the dead, that means, number one, that he is risen from the dead. Number two, that what the apostles preach is powerful. Number three, what the, our faith in Christ is powerful. It's real. And the apostles are true witnesses. And number five, we, we're not in our sin. Number six, those who have died have hope. Glory to God. That might not mean much to somebody. But when you know there's hope, and then number seven, we are not the most miserable people. We ought to be the most happy people. That's why I wonder why you got your mother broke down. Wonder why you look like Donald Duck. You need to remember that he's 